Today, I'm going to transform this um, humble establishment into a thriving metropolis. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe that's a strong word. Maybe a, a thriving villagey place because we're on day 106 and this is pathetic. Anyway, I'm Dio and let me show you my plan. It's divided in two parts. Part one, we add more builds and roads to this area and part two, money, baby. <laughs> so let's start, shall we? Part one of our plan is complete. Now let's take a closer look at the builds. Okay, so as we ex wait, blessed be the ship. Okay, so as we exit our house, we can see a new apple on our right side, which is for now, you know, empty. And it's the same design as the others we've built so far, so nothing new there. However, on this side, we have the new portal. As you can see, I used strip birch for the flesh of the apple, and the portals represent the seeds. It's different, and I think it fits with the rest of the area. So, now that we have a proper residential area with roads and apples it's time to populate this place why you may ask well because the current residents are not bringing any economic perks to our growing and prosperous city which makes us in dire need of villagers to energize and invigorate the market now some people resort to kidnapping to complete this task but i will not do such thing for that is against the law and i don't know which law but imagine there is one okay so my solution is simple, we will enlist someone's help. And I have just the person in mind. We just need to make sure that he hasn't despawned and... Ah, oh, there you go, see? He's probably still looking for the spa. Now, where did I leave him? Pay no attention to the big mess I'm making. I obviously know where I left him and I... Oh, thank God. This is deeper than I remember. Oh, hi. Hi. Um, I'm back, yeah. Um... The spa? Oh, uh... Uh... Look... Um, I'm gonna be honest, there's no spa. Huh? I, I know, but here's the thing. I need your help recruiting people to come live with us. And I promise that if you help me, I'll make sure you'll have a nice house. Maybe I'll give you a spa too, and... Okay, let me be clear, buddy. When I speak, you listen. It's that simple. Got that? I don't like his attitude. Okay, I think I'm gonna need to do something drastic. Um, avert your eyes. Look, he didn't want to cooperate, okay? I was trying, but he didn't want to. But anyway, we can't forget to uh, <clears throat> cover up the place where nothing happened. And now, due to situations out of my control, we have to resort to plan B. And for that, I'm going to need some assistance. So please come with me, Mr. Lama. Yeah? And worry not, we will be back in no time. Ah! Aha! We found it! Okay, I need you to focus. It's time for plan B, which stands for... Big brain! Get it? Because <laughs> I have... My head is big now. <laughs> Laugh. Okay, I need to get into character. <clears throat> Hello! Oh. Don't mind if I do. <clears throat> uh, hi! 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 Hum, mm, mm. Yeah, yeah. Hi, I'm a wandering trader, as you can see by my wandering llama. Yeah, and um, what? what? The, the other one. Um, the other one, it's, it's at home, yeah, uh, in the spa. Yeah, you, you, may, you may visit him later, but I was wondering if you would like to uh, come with me and trade commodities. You know, like, uh, I have stuff and you probably have to, um... Yeah, you also have stuff so we can trade. That's a yes. Okay. Um, just pop right in and let's go. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please fasten your seatbelts and secure all baggage underneath your seat or in it. What? What? Why can't... Is it the bath block? Oh, are you serious? Who was the genius who thought of this mechanic? <sighs> oh, yeah, sure, of course. And here we are, we finally arrived to our beautiful home. Don't you love the smell of rotting apples? I'm joking, they're fake, they're fake apples, don't... <laughs> don't worry, don't worry. What, what? the spa? No, you, you don't want to go to the spa, trust me on that one. 
Just stay there and I'll be right back. I don't know who started this whole thing of moving villagers by boat, but may they be cursed by the ship because that was awful. I had to make so many dirt paths for the boat and every time I tried to make him go up a block, he would just run away. It was like trying to teach a dog how to kill that annoying neighbor, you know? Doable, but so inconvenient and time consuming. So we need to regroup and come up with a better plan, one where I don't have to spend an hour on a boat alone with someone who doesn't even know sea shanties. I mean, how uncultured can one be? Alrighty, I've been thinking for a while and I have a better plan, which is... Drum roll, please. Railroads! <gasps> yes, yes. So, it would basically go like this. We start a tunnel on our home area that goes all the way to the village. You following so far? Okay, good. Next, we place rails on said tunnel. And then, bada bim bada boom, we have an easy way to transport villagers. Like I said, genius. Okay, so let's just very quickly start our tunnel right here. We just have to get all of this dirt out of the way. And onward we go. We just, we're just a couple of blocks away from our destiny. <gasps> Wait, is it? Oh my god, is it the village? Please, please, let it be. <gasps> let's go! It's the village! Okay. Genius plan. No, 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 stop. Genius, really? <laughs> genius. Let me show you how genius this plan really was. So, like all plans, it had its humble beginnings. A rail on a tunnel. <laughs> Simple, right? Well, wrong. So the first setback was a lake, but easy enough. We just make a turn. And then a river. <laughs> so I build a bridge. Again, simple. And after that, I mined. And next, we mined some more. Yes. And what came next? That's right, mining. And finally, we reached the end of this sheep forsaken tunnel. And we found the village. <laughs> right? Wrong again. Because we were on the wrong side of this d mountain, obviously. Anyway, can you guess what I did next? <laughs> Nothing. I found a cave and I did absolutely nothing because no one would be dumb enough to go down there. Don't look at my enchantment levels, those have nothing to do with this. So, I just covered it up and I placed the torch there so I knew where it was. And then I just continue my... Oh. Yeah, that was useless. But it was the simplest of matters, really. I just had to build another bridge and, yes, you guessed it, mine some more. Until finally... Is it... Oh my god, is it the village? Please, please, let it be... <gasps> Let's go! It's the village! Okay. Genius plan. <laughs> yeah. Genius. And finally, we just need to place down the rails. And now, with our tunnel finished, it is time to execute Plan C. And Plan C stands for conducting the villagers from the village to my house through this tunnel. <laughs> I swear. If this doesn't work, plan D will be death. Ahem. <clears throat> okay. Bless be the shape. Hi? Hi? Is anyone here? Oh, oh hi. Pleasure meeting you. Uh, no? No what? I haven't even said anything. Look, I know I'm a wandering trader, okay? But I'm not here to try to sell you anything. I'm here looking for help because I found another villager. He was next to a big apple, right? And like stuck on a boat. It was so weird. And he was asking me for help, but I'm just a wandering trader. So I came here looking for help. Look, follow me and I'll show you where he is and we can save him. Today, please. Okay, so I just need you to go to the minecart, right? Follow the workstation. I believe in you, okay? Just, just go there. No, come back. Okay. <clears throat> Do you prefer this or or maybe this one? Yeah, blast furnace. You you like that, right? Okay, so go to one of the um, Oh, there you go. <gasps> yes, okay, now just go to the minecart. I believe in you. Come on, come on, come here, come here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This way. Yeah. Uh, uh, get inside. Get get inside! Uh! <clears throat> okay, <laughs> I apologize. There was a nest. <gasps> oh my, yes, yes. Okay, just go save him. Go and bless be the ship. Oof. Okay, that was easy. So easy. So now we just need to grab our mine. I can Okay. <clears throat> I guess I'll walk. <sighs> so. We are now done with a fun task of nicely asking villagers to come live with us. And now we just need to make them feel comfortable so they um, make more of them, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to get them out of the boats and... Uh... 
Okay. Uh, in... Okay, what are you doing? Just here. Here, have some beds. You like beds, right? Right? And some bread. Yes, yes. Just take the bread and uh, slap each other with it. I, I don't know. Can you get out? Is this not romantic enough for you? Should I sing a song? Maybe if I block... Oh, yes! It worked. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a while and you kids have fun. All right, now we need to plan where they're going to live because I don't want to just fill that apple with villagers like some sort of prison. So, my plan is simple. I'm going to build a market stall for each villager. Let's go! Okay... And I believe we're done with our first market stall. As you can see, it's mainly made out of spruce and wool, and I really like how the banners look. But most importantly, it has plenty of space inside. Which means that the villagers will probably love it, right? And if they don't, well, that's life. So let's build the rest, shall we? <laughs> Did I start you? Well, anyway, I made two market stalls right behind our nether portal. If we follow this path, we have another one right here next to our house and two more next to our farm, which represent the farmer's market. So now we just need to grab all of these villagers and somehow place them in the market stalls, which uh, it's, it's not going to be the most fun task now. So, be right back. Okay, I've placed a villager in each stall, and now it's time to give them all names. So, first, we're going to start with Cosmo, the farmer. And right next to Cosmo, we have Cider, the other farmer. And don't feel sorry for Cider, because he only trades me melons for emeralds, while, on the other hand, Cosmo trades me pumpkins and melons. He's the true MVP, a true compadre. Yes. Now, over here, right next to our house, we have another type of apple, Pink Lady, the Tillsmith. And you see, Pink Lady is actually very important, because she will eventually give me all the diamond tools I need. And finally, over here, behind the portal, we have Granny Smith, the Silk Librarian, who is a true angel. I love her so much. Thank you for being here. May the blessing of the ship fall upon you. Okay. And finally, we have... Kevin. And I just want to make it perfectly clear. We do not like Kevin. Not even a bit. You see, he keeps trying to rob me of all of the emeralds that I don't have. And he was a giant pain to get here. Um, what? Okay, maybe if I put a rail right. Of course. <laughs> now there's a llama. I don't like you, Kevin! <laughs> so, we do not like Kevin, and I pray that one day the ship may lift the curse within you. But until then, let's all pray for Kevin together. May Kevin be blessed by the ship. But anyway, we have reached our goals and look at everything we were able to achieve. <laughs> Isn't it unbelievable? <laughs> Also, I just want to say thank you to everyone who left their name suggestions last episode. And finally, don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know if you liked the episode in the comment section below. See you next time. <laughs> I don't like you, Kevin.